New year, different game. Let's talk about it. We have the same general layout as last year with the two uh, home and launch areas. We have the home area, which is everything that we see here. And then the launch area, which is just this quarter circle here, this quarter circle here, and then the red home area is everything that we see here, which I really like this two home area thing. It's great, uh, and it allows a lot of strategy in the game. So you can launch from this area and come home to this area, or launch from this area and come back to this area, or launch from this area and come back to this area, or you can launch from or you can launch from this area and go to that area. All right, let's get into the missions. Mission number one is the 3D cinema right here where the, we have the dragon and the objective is to have the robot somehow push this down, the yellow beams down. So the red beam is completely on the other side of the black TV frame. And if you do that, that's worth 20 points. So your robot has to somehow have some form of stick or mechanism or something to be able to push that down to allow the red beam to move forward and the dragon to come out 3D. Mission number two is the shared mission between the two competitive boards and it's the theater scene change mission. Now, it sets up where you have the blue ball in front, uh, the red flag is up, and the objective is to push the orange bar down and to change the scene. Now you can do this as many times as you want, but if the red flag is down like that and the blue ball is in front, you get uh, 10 points. If you have the pink ball in front, you get 20 points. If you have the orange ball in front, you get 30 points. Now, uh, this is the shared mission, so if both teams have the red flag down and the blue ball, then you get your 10 points, but you also get 20 points added at the end of the match. If the pink is in front, then you get your 20 points and 30 points added at the end of the match. If the orange is in front and both teams have the orange in front, uh, you get your 10 points. Uh, 30 points and 10 points out at the end of the match. So my advice for this one is you want the pink and the red flag down. The other people will want the pink and the red flag down because then you're going to have a total of 50 points for this mission. Mission number three. Mission number three is the uh, immersive experience mission. Now, the goal is to put this little minifigure into an immersive experience by pushing or pulling this bar down. Now, you could do that a number of ways. You can actually just push it down uh, or lift these up or something like that. But you get 20 points if the three immersive experience uh, panels are raised. So that's a pretty cool, pretty cool mission. So this is, uh, this is, uh, zero, this is 20. Now you can't use, you cannot use equipment to prop this up. So if you have some form, we'll just use this motor as equipment. Uh, if you have some form of equipment to prop it up, that's not allowed. You can't do that. Okay. So it has to be, it has to be without any equipment. And that's 20 points. Mission number four is masterpiece. And in home, you're going to have this particular pedestal uh, in the red launch area or the blue launch area. You can move it to whatever launch area you want at the beginning of the match. Now, uh, you have your Lego art piece that you make from bags, uh, I believe it is, um, uh, I don't remember the bag number, but you make your Lego art piece with the bag, all right? And then you, uh, you can put it in the museum, which is way over there, okay? Now, you put it in the museum, that's 10 points, okay? If the art piece is completely supported by the pedestal like this and in the museum, 
like that, then it is 20 points added at the end of the match. Mission number five is the augmented reality statue. And that is this mission that kind of looks like a flower right here. Now the goal is to uh, move the orange lever somehow with your robot to actually open up the statue. So this has to be moved completely to the right. So, and actually if you notice, and your Michelin model is built correctly, the lever, once it gets to about halfway, will go by itself. So if your robot can somehow get this lever and push it, then it opens up the augmented reality statue, and that is 30 points. Mission number six is the lights and sound. Now, uh, there are two orange levers, 10 points each. So the lights, uh, if your robot can come and get this orange lever down and turn the lights down like that, so the lights are pointed down towards the performer, then that is 10 points. And then if your robot can somehow flip up this lever and turn both speakers, one of my speakers is turned the wrong way on the thing, turn both speakers towards the crowd, then that is 10 points as well. Mission number seven is on this mission model as well, and it is the augmented or the hologram performer. Now it is a 20 point mission and the, the orange push bar starts out here. There's a little line right here on the mission mat. It starts out here. Now this has to be pushed completely past the black line. So it can't be touching the black line in any way. So if your robot can push it all the way in past the black line, even that still counts right there. That doesn't count because I don't see the blue. Now I see the blue right there in between the orange and the black. That counts as 20, 20 points added to your total. Mission number eight is a pretty cool one. Mission number eight says that if your robot can come and flick this thing up and over that, then you get a certain amount of points if it gets past the colored blue tiles here. So the dark blue, if you get it past the dark blue, right of the medium dark blue, okay, which is this one, and left of this one. So if you're right here, then it's 10 points. If you're right here, which is left of the medium and right of the light, then it's 20 points. But if you can figure out how to flick this up with your robot as well, somehow your robot gets here and it flicks it up, then, and it goes all the way past, then you get 30 points. So the goal would be to somehow flick this up, then somehow flick this, flick that, and get it all the way that way. Just like that. Mission number nine is the movie set, and that's the boat and this little camera right here. Now, the camera starts out here, and the boat starts out here in its, in its starting area, and the goal uh, is two things. Number one, to get the boat past its black line, completely past. So that is not past, that is past. Okay, completely past the black line and touching the mat. Now it could be tipped over, it's still touching the mat, it's still good, okay? But you also get 10 points if the camera, which starts here, is in its target area as well. So the boat has a target area and the camera has a target area. The camera's target area is right here. So if you pull that camera out, the boat moves naturally being pulled by the rope and is in its target area and the camera is in there. And that is 10 points for the camera and 10 points for the boat. The boat has to be completely past the black scene line, okay? And the camera has to be at least partially in. That still counts because it's still partially in. That's completely in. Mission number 10 is the sound mixer. Now, the goal is to get all of the levers up, all of the faders up. Now, each slider or each fader has uh, 10 points each. So you have a total of 30 points. 
The trick is you have to figure out the order. So if your robot can come and drive and figure out how to raise these things up in the right order, like now that one won't go up. Raise them up in the right order, then that's 30 points each. So a uh, little helpful hint, start with this one, then do this one, then do this one. If you do all three at one time, you'll get two of the three, which is 20 points. Mission number 11 is the light show here in the middle. Now, if your robot can lift the bars to a certain spot, yellow, yellow is 10 points. The blue, the little blue spot in the, in the middle is 30 points and the green is 20 points. So you can go too high. There's a nice sweet spot. Now, your robot has to do uh, if a certain, now, getting that into the blue is very important. That's the most amount of points. And I believe that it's even a little bit easier than getting it into the green. The challenge is gonna be getting your robot, building a mechanism that is strong enough to lift this up because it's not as easy as it looks. Next is the virtual reality artist, mission number 12. Now, the virtual reality artist, the robot can somehow uh, push this lever forward and it will move the chicken just a little bit each time. If the chicken is moved from a starting position, that's even one thing, one push of the lever, the orange lever, that's 10 points. If it's completely past the purple dot, and you can see the purple dot on this side, like that, like that, you can see the purple dot, then that is 20 points added at the end of the match. So a total of 30 points if the chicken is completely past the purple dot. Mission number 13 is the craft creator. If your robot can push the craft through and the pink latch falls, you can see it wiggling there at the bottom right there, uh, that's 20 points. Now, if your robot can also completely lift the lid of the craft machine, then that's another 10 points. So a possible 30 points for this mission. The last few missions are where things get really interesting. Miss mission 14 are the audience members. You're to deliver the audience members to their target destinations. Now, uh, there, are, there are seven target destinations. We have the popcorn in front of the 3D movie cinema. We have the theater. We have the skate park. We have the, um, we have the stage area. We have the movie set. We have the concert area. And we have the center light show circle. You get five points for every one of these audience members in a target area. So that's 10 points. But you also get five points for every single target area you can get an audience member in. So I can get one there and there. So now I'm at 15 points plus five points each. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So I can go to another one, put an audience member in there. Now I'm at 20 points plus 15 points for the target areas. One, two, three times five, so on and so forth. All right? So that's where you can use some strategy and put one audience member in each target area, or you can put multiple in just a few target areas. The last mission that the robots are going to actually uh, perform is the expert delivery. Now we have different experts stationed around the board. There, 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 and one in the launch area. Now they get 10 points each if they are delivered to their right area. So Anna, the museum curator, uh, is already in home uh, in a launch area. So you get her into the museum over here. That's 10 points. You get Sam, the stage manager, to the movie set, that is 10 points. So you're at 20 points if you get those two there. 
uh, you get uh, the skater, Izzy the skateboarder, over to the skate park, another 10 points. If you get Noah the sound engineer over to the music concert, right there, then that's another 10 points. And if you get Emily, the visual effects coordinator, over to the 3D cinema, um, then, which is right there, then that's another 10 points. So you have a total of 50 points there. That's an overview of all the missions that the robot's gonna perform. And say the robot doesn't perform one and it gets stuck out in the middle and you have to touch the robot. Then you get a precision token taken away. Now I actually lost my precision tokens. They're circles, uh, so I'm just using red bricks right now. Uh, but uh, if you get one precision token away, you start with 50 points, okay? If you get one taken away, you still get 50 points. So that is uh, a free touch. If you get another one taken away, that's 40 points. You get another one taken away, that's 30 points. And uh, you can go all the way down to zero. Now, I am ready to start brainstorming and cooking up some cool ideas for Masterpiece. And uh, I didn't make up any of this information. Got it all right here from the robot rule book that shipped with your field set. Uh, read the rules, know the rules, understand how the board's set up uh, because I don't know everything. This is everything. I've got my mini max robot. I've got my rule book. I'm ready to tackle this with some youngsters this year. I hope you are too. If you are participating in first Lego league, then uh, good for you. I'm glad that you're here. Remember that at the back of the robot rule book, there's a score sheet, okay? Which breaks down exactly how they're going to score your robot game at the end. And at the very end, there is this. It says gracious professionalism right here. Okay, this is the best thing that you can focus on this first Lego League season, being a gracious professional. If you don't know what that is, then look in your team meeting guide. There's all kinds of cool activities in there to help you with gracious professionalism and for values. I'll talk about it more in more videos, but for now, that's the game overview. Read your robot rule book, and I'll see you in the next video.